Welcome back to Logitech. I just bought this chip Intel Pentium G6405 for about 67 bucks. For the 67 bucks, you already get the processor, including the Intel UHD 610 graphic card. However, this processor only have two core four thread, which is half of the Core i3 10 gen. Core i3 10 gen costs about 89 bucks without the integrated graphic card and cost about 125 bucks with the integrated graphic card so it's about twice price of this processor well that makes sense because the core i3 also have twice processor than this well from some people maybe buying the core i3 with integrated graphic card is quite expensive so maybe the people will consider buying this with half price and it can be same price but you already have the motherboard with the processor Okay, let's just unboxing and then benchmark this processor. I best the CPU performance with Cinebench R23. Pentium G6405 is only draw about 35 watt, while i3 1010.5F is about 56 watt. It makes sense because it has half core of i3. However, the score is not even half of core i3 1010.5F. Even though it has half cores, I expected to get at least half of it. It could be because some background apps. Let's test the integrated UHD 610 performance in game. I test with 1080p and 768p resolution. First game we have Genshin Impact as one of popular game right now. I test with default lower setting without fishing. Genshin limited to 60 fps. When setting is lowest 768p, it can run stable at 60, while set to 1080p, it drops to about 39 fps. Well, even though it can run 60 fps, the graphic is not really good. Change to low setting 0.6 scale, the graphic is much better even at 768p. Looks much better than lowest. 76 IP still managed to get 46 FPS, while 10 XTP is below 30. Running 76 IP at low is good enough. You still can get decent FPS and graphic. Next game is CS:GO at lower setting. I using the benchmark map to test. However, the smoke green day effect is really painful. FPS dropped to 2 only. Well, here's the result. 1080p only managed to get 25 FPS in average, while 768p is about 49. In real game, you can get about 35 to 60 FPS in 1080p and 50 to 80 FPS with 768p setting. At least if enemy never pop up smoke green day at you. Last game for IGPU test is Dota 2.
In lower setting, it still can manage to get 53 FPS in average and 70 FPS with 76AP resolution. You still can adjust the graphic in 76AP to get better looks and play around 60 FPS. Moving to dedicated GPU benchmark, here I use my RTX 3080 Ti with 1080p resolution to check GPU bottleneck. First, we have Forza Horizon 4 at ultra setting. G6405 managed to get 97 FPS, while Core i3 1010 5F is getting 50% performance boost of a G6405 due to double core. Next game is Assassin's Creed Valhalla. Even though this game is unoptimized, it needs at least 4 cores to run well. We can see massive performance difference in this title. Core i3 1010 5F managed to get 93 FPS in average, while G6405 is only half of it. Dual core really struggle in this game. However, Above 4 core 8 threads, almost no performance difference in average FPS. And the last game is Horizon Zero Dawn. G6405 still managed to get about 84 FPS in average, while Core i3 1010 5F is about 50% better. Well, from the benchmark so far, we can see that 2 core 4 thread is not enough for modern games. You might be can pair it with lower end GPU like 1650 Super. Well, yeah, at maximum maybe 1660. For more benchmark detail, you can check my other channel, Loki's Bench. From the benchmark result just now, we can see that for the multitask testing, this Pentium G6405 is not even half performance of the Core i3 10 Gen. Well, that's quite disappointed. I expect to get at least 50% of its performance, but seems maybe lack of cache or maybe the bloatware at the Windows affecting the dual core performance. In the gaming benchmark, you can see that there is massive difference between Core i3 and also this Pentium G6405. Well, this processor performance is same as the Core i3 7 Gen, but comparing to Core i3 10 Gen is nothing. So maybe if you want to buy this and later on you want to have graphic card, maybe you can only get uh, up to GTX 1660 or maybe 1650 super only. Above that, there will be a massive performance impact for the graphic card and you will just waste the money. From the integrated graphic card, it's quite nice. I can see the Genshin Impact. It can run pretty well at uh, 7x, 7.6xp. And in Dota, you still can play at lower setting 1080p also. Well, I still consider playing the 7.6p with low setting rather than 1080p lower setting. The graphics still looks pretty good. For the CSGO, in the smoke screen scene, you can see the performance drop up to 2 FPS which is really really low. Well, in the actual gameplay, you won't be having this problem. It's still smooth unless your opponent throw you a smoke green day on you directly. For the value, I think this G6405 is good for the normal daily usage or working purpose. And you want to play a little game, maybe like Genshin Impact at low setting if it's enough for you. If you want to get higher performance processor, you can buy the Core i3 1010 5F with twice price of this if you want to have the integrated graphic card or just 
adding maybe 25 bucks 20 to 25 bucks if you want to have the core i3 without the integrated graphic but currently buying the graphic card is not really worth so maybe you still can consider buying the non f version unless you have the graphic card on your hand okay that's all from me if you like this video please press like and subscribe and don't forget to check the link and description below thanks for watching